Well, here we are at the Laureus Sports Awards in Abu Dhabi with the very glamorous Nadia Comaneci. Well, I mean, Nadia Comaneci is a name that uh, anybody who knows anything about sports would have heard of. But it was a long time ago, wasn't it? For those who can't quite remember, and I'm afraid I can, mm -hmm. um, five Olympic gold medals. Three, 1976 in Montreal, two in 1980 in Moscow, and uh, you were the first athletes, first gymnast ever to score the perfect 10. That must have been amazing. Is it true that the scoreboard didn't actually know how to put 10 up and it said one or something? Yes, it's true. The, uh, the company who uh, created the, uh, the scoreboard the name of the company, of course, was Longines. Uh, they, uh, they called the International uh, Gymnastic Federation before the Olympics in Montreal to ask them what should they do about the scoreboard if, and if there, if there is a possibility that somebody will score a 10. And uh, they answered back that, that there would be no 10. They don't think anybody will score a 10. So for that reason, they didn't accommodate the scoreboard for a 10 and when when I was supposed to when the judges were supposed to show the, the ending score which was a 10 they couldn't do it and of course the the flash came up on the scoreboard and show 1.00 which was a little confusing for everybody because you know very well that 1.00 is not a very good score not a very good score now you knew you'd done better than 1.0 I knew that I was going to get a 9.9 .9. I was hoping but not a 1 um, and then, of course, from then on, uh, the entire scoreboarding system that there was in Montreal changed, and they could show very successful a ten after that. So when you when you when it said one, did you not realize at first that it was a ten? I uh, I looked around. Well, actually, I'm not watching for the the, the scores. Uh, I never tend to look at that because I kind of give a score to myself and I thought I did a pretty good routine. I thought I could do better than that. You thought you could do better? Well, this is how I felt. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I heard a lot of noise from the arena and I turned around and I showed the scoreboard turning around with the 1.00. Then I remember I looked at my teammates and one of them showed me, I think it's a 10, but they can make it a 10. And I remember I went up on a podium and waved and then went down and prepared for my next event. Wow. Am I right in saying you actually scored another six tens at those Olympics? You know what I thought then? Of course, I was very young to understand what was going on. Uh, I thought that the judges were very nice to me. That's what I thought. They, they had like some kind of affection for me. <laughs> they, gave you some, they gave me such a good score. Uh, it, I, I think that the fact that I was very young, it, uh, first of all, I didn't understand that. Uh, I didn't go there to compete and to make history because I didn't know I was going to make history. I didn't know that I um, uh, that the, there was no 10 score before me in the history of the Olympics. It, it, it never hit me even after that, oh, look what I've done in those Olympic Games. Uh, when I went back to Romania and I saw, I saw the interest of the people around the world coming to, to, more, to know more about me, then I started to realize that I've done something special in those games. That period, Nadia, was a, was a fantastic era for, for gymnastics because there was you and there was Olga Corbett and the, the world fell in love with Olga Corbett and there was Ludmilla Tuishifer and there was Nelly Kim and I, I'm not sure that there's been a repeat of that since. It was the golden era of gymnastics. Do you agree with that? I have to agree with you. Uh, I, it's nice to hear it from you. Probably there was a lot of story be, be, between the rivalry of the Romania and the, the, the former Soviet Union, and of course, the Olga Corbett was the champion from, uh, not exactly the champion, but she was a favorite in Munich, uh, in the games, and also in, in Montreal. But my idol then was Ludmila Turisheva because she was the Olympic champion in 1972. Uh, less people remember Ludmila Turisheva as they do remember uh, Olga Korbut. And of course Nelly Kim, uh, who competed with me, which by the way she got the second perfect 10 in the Olympics. And not too many people talk about that because somehow 
media and the general public remember the first perfect ten and not the second. Tell us about tell us about your your defection, uh, Nadia, because that that interested me. 1989. I know your coaches had defected before, and after they defected to, you know, to the United States, you were kind of they kept a close eye on you, didn't you? And then uh, no, they left in 1981. They were here, uh, uh, not here. They were in the United States for the gymnastic show, and they decided not to come back. Uh, I decided to leave Romania in 1989, just a little before the revolution. Um, I just thought there was a good step for me to do that. Of course, Romania changed after that two weeks later. Um, you know, very well probably that I live in the States for so many years. I, I used to live in Montreal for a year and a half at the beginning. Uh, now my, I travel a lot during the United States. And, and how did you defect, Nadia? Because you went over land, didn't you? The yeah, I just crossed the border illegally. Was that easy? No. Or, or illegally? Easy. Yeah, illegally. How did you do that? Just, it was difficult. I, uh, I wrote about that in my book. It's a, it's a book called Letters to a Young Gymnast. It was, a, uh, it was a difficult decision to make because I had to decide to leave my family behind, which is very important to me. But then, you know, things turned out to be good. Romania changed a lot. I go back every year six times because I do a lot of projects there. It must have been, I mean, for someone who was as famous as you, it must have been quite scary to do that. Uh, if you would have been somebody that's not very well recognized, probably would be the the same difficult route to take because you just have to kind of risk your life to do that. It's it's your own decision. It was my decision to do that. I was hoping this is going to be a good step and it was a good step for me. Now listen, I'm just looking at some of the things that you, you've done or things that have happened around you. Your, your name is always being used in films and TV shows. Did you know, for example, Nadia, that you were mentioned in Dallas, that you were mentioned in Lost, the series Lost. Yes. That you were mentioned in the film Love at Ama First Bite. Did you know that? Uh, I've heard Amazing Race. I know that I've mentioned on that one. Yeah, yeah. And also, yeah. you appeared on The Apprentice, Donald Trump's Apprentice, last year, two years ago. Yeah, I did. I did that. I do. I did that show. It was very interesting. To, uh, interesting to me. Uh, of course, I got kicked out uh, second in the show. Uh, the reason I've done that was that um, uh, there was all the money that we raised were going to the charities and uh, it was a good experience but uh, I'd rather do Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> Have you not done that yet? No. Oh, are you asking? Are you asking to be, yeah, to be I, on it? Yeah, I think I like to do it. Okay, well this is, this is our exclusive then, Nadia. So okay. you are officially asking to be on Dancing with yeah. the Stars. You'd be quite good at that, wouldn't you? Um, I don't know. Do you, do you I, keep I, yourself I'm, in shape? I'm, I'm, willing to, I'm, I'm willing to learn. Yeah. Yeah, I work out every day. Yeah. But I'm, I, I don't know. I can't tell you that I can do mamba or something no. else. Yes, well, I listen. Do. Well, good luck and uh, I, hope you, uh, I hope you get on to Dancing uh, with the Stars and you, you go further than the second round. And, I hope so. <laughs> and, and you go and win. I think people will be fairly intimidated knowing they're up against you. Uh, I don't know. I think athletes did very well in Dancing with the Stars and Apollo Ono did it. And he won it. Christy Yamaguchi did it, and she won it. But uh, and Sean Johnson won it too. But uh, I, I can say I will do very well. But I'm willing to try.